Welcome back to Fire to Fork. This episode, we are catching up with Matt from Explore. It's an absolute ripper until everything goes completely wrong. But until we get to that, I just wanted to remind you that my book is officially out. As you can see by the glowing reviews below, um, it's a it's an absolute cracker. I'm really proud of it, even if my mum isn't. Welcome back to Fire to Fork. Now, uh, I'm up in lovely, sunny Coral Bay, where it is freezing cold, blowing a gale, raining sometimes, and very, very unseasonable. Uh, and I'm actually about to be joined by Matt Baker from the Explore Life. So he's had a six hour drive today. It was like a last minute thing. He just went, oh bugger it, I'm just gonna punch up from Monkey Mire. Um, <clears throat> So we're a few k's out of town where we can have a fire. Um, got a new fire pit here, which I'll show you in a bit, and the old faithful there. And I thought, well, what have I got? Like, I, you know, he's just pulling in at, like, he'll pr probably get here at, like, just before eight. Um, I told him I'd have dinner ready. Uh, what have I got thought out? What have I got ready to go? We're actually gonna have to share a steak because I've only got one that's not frozen. Uh, and it's, it's this one. So, I, th I think we're going to be okay. Uh, this is from my mates at Rob's Craft Butchery. They hooked us up with these, and I've got three of them. I've already eaten one. Um, and they are stunning. Giant tomahawks. So, that's already thought out. It's literally the only meat that I have that's not frozen. Um, what else do I have? Some, I've got some potatoes. Great. I've got some chilies. Some garlic. Some parsley. Red wine vinegar, salt, pepper. Sounds like steak, potatoes, and chimichurri to me. Uh, now this honestly was not a planned meal. This is actually what I had in my fridge. My fridge just is kind of weirdly good on this trip. Um, I've got some really, really good ingredients. <laughs> um, ready to go. So first thing that needs to go on are the potatoes. So I'll grab some of those. So for reference, if you don't know where I am, um, if you watch Young Bloods on YouTube, he lives like 100 k's away from here. And it's like this. It's very, very weird. Now I'm gonna <clears throat> dice these guys up into relatively small slices, just so that I can, uh, so they cook quite quickly. I have too many potatoes. That's plenty. I've got a sort of a layer about an inch thick along the whole bottom of the camp oven. It's tons of potatoes. I don't know why I kept peeling potatoes. That was kind of stupid. I don't even know what to do with these. I'll figure that out later. But I do know what to do with these. So Oh, I can't believe I did that. That's so dumb. I've never been good at judging whole potatoes versus chopped potatoes. All right, lots of salt, lots of pepper. I need a haircut, I think. And <clears throat> the secret ingredient, lard, animal fat. So I haven't cooked much with lard actually, but I'm going to tonight. It's not very good for you, but it's really tasty. So a heap of lard. 150 grams of lard. About that. Oh, it's all kind of going over a bit of make this a little bit smaller so it fits back in easier. 200 grams of lard. Now I'm not using this, you're not obviously not going to eat 200 grams of pure animal fat. It's going to fry in there. Um, Back in the old days, they used to do uh, bread and drippings. And this is drippings, which is just, um, yeah, fat from animals. And they used to just have that instead of butter. Sounds incredible, to be honest. Um, I'll wash this off. Whew. That looks really good. I'll take that down there. I'll take you with me. Usually when I do roast veggies in a camp oven, you want 
70% of the heat on top and 30% underneath or, or maybe even 80-20. This one's a little bit different because we've got so much fat in the bottom. We actually want to kind of cook that fat, or, you know, get that fat quite warm. Whew, it's so windy. Everything's burning really hot. Um, so with that fat, you want to um, put a fair bit of heat underneath. So we're going to have about 50-50 on this one. Um, definitely want heat on top because it's not enough to like deep fry it. But yeah, we want a fair bit of heat underneath. Um, so the rest can go on top. So the reason I'm using the, these two fire pits is that this one is basically just a coal machine and warmth machine. Because the other one is what we're going to do the tomahawk on. And that's going to have to be reverse seared steak, the main event. Oh, still some lard on that. Delightful. Oh. Okay. Get rid of that. Hold on. Beer. How cold's that? Just chucked a fresh six pack in there, making sure they're extra cold. The fruity ones, Colonial IPA. My, actually, this is sacrilegious, my second favorite beer at the moment. My favorite is the Hazy IPA. Uh, Price is eye-watering, beer is delicious. Uh, but, <laughs> tell you what, don't buy a four pack. You don't, don't buy a carton, it's, it's, it's a lot of money for a carton. Get a four pack, treat yourself, man, it's nice. It's limited release, it's just incredible. Okay, we've had this steak dry. So you don't need, don't need to be too anal with this padding because um, it's good. It's going to sit offset as we reverse sear it. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. This bit of steak, like everything, lots of salt and pepper. Might have out of peppercorns. I thought it was grinding a little bit slowly because it's empty. I bought these peppercorns to fill it. Didn't actually fill it. I don't usually even carry spare peppercorns, just it's a long trip, so I had already I have a lot of refill things in here. I even got a spare big bag of rock salt. Okay, large the large Osprey, the camp bry, the, the OG. This is such a big steak. I reckon that's nearly, I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna measure how thick this thing is. That is 60 millimeters thick or two and a half inches. That's a serious, serious steak. This is pushing the limits of what the Osbri can even hold. And it holds it lengthwise and stuff, but width wise, it's gonna be squishy. Not that I'd ever, I've never, this is the first time I've ever actually pushed the limits of the Osbro in terms of the size of a bit of meat. Whole chickens, no worries. This bloody steak, butterfly chicken obviously. So um, you, you really over salt it because a lot of the salt just falls off. Okay. So you put it in the highest setting, there are three settings on these. Highest setting. Chuck it in, clamp, oh yeah, it fits, no worries. Let's get that fat cap. All right, now we wanna get this to about 40, probably 46, 47 degrees internal temperature. Now the way you use this offset 
on a fire pit. Do not put this on there until your meat's in there. It's quite windy, so I'm gonna go the middle setting. Usually I'd go the top setting. What you wanna do is you can lock it in. See how it's, you, so you, to, to get, ooh, to get the meat in, or to get the grill in, this needs to be quite wide so you can slide it in easily. That will not work on the fire pit. So you need to slide it in, close it, and lock it in a little bit. And then you pick the whole shooting match up and you drop it on top of your fire pit. And that is perfect reverse sear technique. Um, that's stable there, even there's tons of wind. I've got no dramas with that being there. I'm just gonna check on my, um, my spuds, just make sure they're okay. Sometimes with this wind, you can just get blistering heat in there and you can start to burn them in, in, in honestly 10 minutes. Stainless steel tables. This is why I only have stainless steel tables. Oh, I think I need a bit of time to myself. That is glorious. Uh, tip for young players. Once your potatoes get soft and mushy, do not stir them, just leave them. You'll get a crisp on the bottom and all that stuff, but you need to, you need to balance your heat as opposed to flipping your potatoes. These aren't soft yet. Oh, even that, like they're starting to get soft. You gotta be a little bit careful. Um, all I'm trying to do here is just get a little bit of foil under them, because I put them in sort of dry. I wanna get that crust off the bottom. And then I will not flip these again. All I'll do is adjust heat to make them cook evenly. So as in, if it looks like the bottom's burning, then I'll take bottom heat off and add top heat or vice versa. The handle design on these Southern Metal Spinners camp ovens is is just the most stable I've found. Usually you got one handle. I never worry about this. And no, I'm not sponsored by Southern Metal Spinners. I paid full price for my camp oven. Uh, I bought it years ago, long before I started Fire Fork. Okay, last step, chimichurri. I've, I use these little um, Tupperware things as my little mini bowls. It's great because if you make too much steak sauce, um, it's really good to keep but it's really hard to keep sauces usually, so these actually seal up properly, which is nice. So, garlic. I peeled this earlier off camera because there's nothing more boring than watching me poorly peel garlic. Um, I don't even know how many cloves of garlic that was. It's just, it's more of a ratio thing as opposed to total number. Um, I'll put the correct ratios in the recipe, which will be in the description below. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't really, I just kind of just do this by feel and like whatever I've got. So chuck that in your <laughs> bowl and spill it everywhere. That's really important as well. As I've done in many of my recipes, the spilling is, is one of the most important steps you can do. Make sure you get the flavor from the table. Okay. Uh, then I use some chilies. These are not very hot at all, um, which is great for most people. I actually would prefer a bit more spice. You can see they're big, they're basically bloody capsicums. I haven't actually checked if Matt likes chili, so we'll find out. But as I said, these are not very spicy at all. I mean, there's heat, but nothing special. Then, last step is parsley, well not last step, but last chopping step. Bit of parsley. So this is like a continental flat leaf parsley. It's gonna blow everywhere because it's windy as hell. That's okay. Try and somewhat keep it on the table. 
Perfect. Now I've got some red wine vinegar. And some olive oil. So about equal parts of those, roughly. And then pepper, salt, and I'll get a fork to stir it. Actually, way better way of stirring it. It's great. <laughs> I love chimichurri. Uh, a lot of people blend it. It's, that's fine, you can blend it. Uh, traditionally, it's not blended. And I haven't got a blender. So, sue me. Let's give all this stuff a little bit of time. And sit back and have a beer. A few tins later. Good night, mate! Oh, Jesus! What oh, we're not buggering around, are we? What a <laughs> How are we? Good mate. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> oh fuck, that was a good job. <laughs> I bet it was, especially oh. towing it. Oh mate, what a setup. Yeah, this is wild. It's a, it's, a, it's a hell of a little setup, it's good. All right everyone, Matt, welcome. Yes, you're straight on camera, as oh, usual. Right, oh, happy days. <laughs> have a look at that. Are you joking? Well, I thought we were, we're going to have to share a steak, but I, I didn't think you'd mind. <laughs> I don't mind sharing I measured it. half it's, a dinosaur. It's 60 mil thick. Is it? <laughs> wow. It's, like, it's maxed out. insane. Yeah, so now we're good. We're, we're eating. Look at the setup. Yeah, it's getting there. So good. <laughs> I, said, I, I need a trailer, though. Yeah, you probably do. Eh? Yeah, no, it's, it's on the way. Yeah, yeah. Sick. October, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting. <laughs> I need a beer anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you want one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that took a turn for the worse. Whole like, uh, you'll see it on Matt's vlog. You, you actually, not, you won't see anything on anyone's vlog because we were just hanging, both of us, on the ends of the awning. Um. And both of us lifted off the ground. <laughs> That's how strong the wind was. You like got next level real quick. Just like like, oh yeah, well it's uh, having a chat. You're like, yeah, yeah, cool. Like, you know, geez, <laughs> there's a little bit of rain around. Holy shit! Like, the flex, I I I I I don't know if I've broken something, but I had like one the thing is I had one pathetic little peg in there. Like not a good peg. I, I hope I haven't broken anything. But if I have, fair enough, because <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like this is not in the instruction manual. <laughs> that was, that was nuts. But it's still holding up, like oh, yeah, it's, it's still, ripped. It's still good. Oh, nothing's ripped. No, nah, like it, uh, I'm soaked because it was just raining morning. sideways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Okay, well, I'm gonna have a quick look at dinner. <laughs> I don't know, I think, you know what? We're gonna eat this in your caravan. Yeah. I'm I've never wanted a caravan more. <laughs> Actually looking really good. Excuse the fact that I look like a drowned rat. All right. <clears throat> All my angles have changed. My, my lighting won't even stay up. This is what I usually use to illuminate me. But it just keeps blowing over in the wind. We've also moved the caravan round. All right. Let's try and... Everything is just drenched. Including the camera. The camera is horrific. Oh. I might dry this off. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna do my best from with the situation we have. I need to have the camera over here in a weird spot. I know it's getting flicked on, I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm gonna finish this video. <clears throat> this is commitment. So, I check the uh, spuds, they're looking good. I refuse to waste food. Okay, internal temperature is you can't even make this up, it's, it's, it's 48, it's just perfect, genuinely. And you'll see if I'm lying when I cut the thing open. Okay, get this, drop it down to the lowest setting. Just straight on the deck. Take the big guy out. Jesus, that's yeah, mate. 
sear it fat side down. <laughs> Mate, this is a serious event. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking in storms. Look at that. This thing is 60 mil thick. I'm not even joking. All right. Uh, so basically you just want as much heat as possible on this. Just give it a good sear on the outside. I'd say we'll give it a nice like rest, but it's just gonna rest in water. So I might even put it in the van. It looks good though. Oh. <laughs> yes, it looks good. <laughs> oh, I might just give this a wipe off or something. Yes, YouTube. I put a thing underneath it. I like lots of water. Yeah. <laughs> my steak. You like boiled steak? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That looks like about enough searing. So, I reckon I'm just gonna wipe this for the 68th time and go and put him in the caravan. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that went well. I, um, my, ca my big camera's not working, unfortunately, so we're on GoPro. So, the spuds look good. I would love to give you my usual gratuitous B-roll, but that's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be GoPro in a caravan. So. <laughs> this is very romantic. This is cute it's as so cute. Cute as, <laughs> <laughs> cute as <f> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's um. Uh, can you hold this for one sec? I can do that. Sure. Okay. So these are uh, roasted potatoes cooked in pork fat because that's better <laughs> than oil. Everyone likes pork fat. Oh. And then... Oh. Oh, hold on, I need to go get my knife and stuff. I'll be back in a second. So, better... um. It's got nicely carved up. I assume you like your steak medium rare. Yes, sir. So like either medium rare or, you know, I'm not particularly willing to like entertain <laughs> any other options. <laughs> so. Ooh, that is looking good. Oh, that's a big fat cat there. Oh wait. That is cooked to perfection. And anyway, we don't mess around. I cannot believe that weather. <laughs> Still. <laughs> That's just like one of the wildest. Mate, if I wasn't here, you would have lost your awning. A hundred percent. My <laughs> awning would be in the ocean. And that's like, I reckon I would rip the roof rack off. Yeah. Like, I'm, when, when I'm done with this, I'm taking my awning down. Because that is ridiculous. Yeah. You won't like, sleep otherwise. No, no, God, no. You'll do that with the whole body. Okay. This is not the best pre presentation I've ever done, but it'll it'll do the bloody job. Yes, it will. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. And then... I can't just have like, just steak, so I hope you like. Do you like chili? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. All right. Well, you're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. I love chili. Do you like? Oh, do you like garlic? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, you're getting it. <laughs> All right. So the chimichurri on top. Oh. Oh, All right. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh. Well, that just might be the flashiest thing that's ever been cooked and will ever be cooked in this van. I'm going to enjoy this. We haven't done tomorrow yet, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> that one's done. Cheers, mate. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Happy yeah. boy? Oh, mate. I've never wanted a caravan more in my life, by the way. Right. <laughs> it's a game changer. <laughs> That's what everyone says, game changer, isn't it? I was, wow. I was so against it, and now I've got it. Can't go back. Never, never going back. Yeah. Oh, oh, living like a savage. Mm. Mm. Right, thanks for watching everyone. Tomorrow, well, that was like, I'm going heli fishing. And I was like, look, I'm not really like a heli fishing kind of a channel. <laughs> so maybe there's no fucking way I'm missing out on heli fishing. <laughs> 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 so I'm going heli fishing tomorrow. I'll see you there. The vlog will be on Matt's channel. Or stock. The cooking video will be on mine. Yeah. Stock stuff. Hopefully a couple of big coral trout yeah let you work your magic and i'll no, and i'll enjoy it like i'm like <laughs> i'm enjoying this hopefully oh, hopefully we can actually sit outside tomorrow but if not yeah. this is this is great i'm not i'm not bad but thanks everyone